everyone and welcome to another video for Midian Gaming. Yes, I am out on the floor, not in the office at the moment. Sometimes it's good just to change it up, yeah? So I wanted to do a video series in regards to what's new that is coming through the doors or what is actually um, showing itself up inside the store. Today, I want to be looking at the Palms Off Gaming sleeves. Now, everyone is used to their penny sleeves. The Palms Off Gaming have come out with plain leaves. So how do they match up against, let's say, Dragon Shields, yeah? So let's just go through it. First of all, Dragon Shields come in at about $20, anywhere up to $30, depending on what's on the front of the cards. Uh, these sit at $13 in the store, so you're already taking a saving of $7. What is important to be people is usually the quality of the sleeves and know the longevity of them so let's see what they say about these sleeves here they've talked about textured back smooth shuffling so i can vouch for that look i've been shuffling these pretty much about 40 to 50 cards here i've been shuffling these throughout the weekend even jamming so really not caring really putting it through its things so far, I haven't seen any splits or anything that has happened. Um, you know, doing a lot of that. And just going through the cards and haven't seen anything. They still feel pretty good. Look, it's going to take some time. Uh, maybe some gunk building up on the back or anything. But really, you should be changing your sleeves, especially if you're into tournament plays. You shouldn't be having that. So these are feeling pretty good. I would say very comparable to Dragon Shields. Like, you know what? They're not flying out everywhere. Usually, new sleeves, like flying, let's just look. You know, not that bad, yeah? So, pretty good. Comes in its own plastic box with the Velcro strip. Pretty high quality. Everything from uh, Palms Off Gaming is high quality. We know that. It's got the black inners and outers. So, you know, Palms Off Gaming, they really are into the hobby side of things, so they know what gamers need. And I think it's pretty good. The only thing that I uh, would give it points down on is this comes with 100 cards, and this was filled up with the rest. But if you sleeve all 100 cards, they're not going to fit into this small box, yeah? You'll probably get about 50 of them in. So if you're running 50 to 60 card games, that's perfect. You can keep using the case. Otherwise, it's good if you've got the spare sleeves and to keep them in such a box, a nice sturdy box at that. So like I said, coming in at $13 as opposed to, let's just say the base for Dragon Shield is 20 bucks. Saving $7, you're getting some pretty good sleeves. Uh, I like them. Actually got a shelf full of these now, just due to the fact of trying these out and really thinking that they are a viable option. Honestly, like I have been really jamming these cards hard, just trying to hit a split, yeah? Nothing, I think they're gonna live up to the quality that these guys are known for, all right? Like I said, I'm gonna do a series of these videos showing you what's coming through the door and my thoughts on it. And honest thoughts, yeah? If I get a dud, I'll tell you it's a dud. <laughs> and then try and sell it out yeah all right if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying the channel or just want to support us you know what just subscribe it's a second of your time it's a lifetime of love for us put anything down in the comments that you um want to add to this or anything else that you'd like to see and we'll get to it that's what this week i'm planning on getting this done okay have a great one guys see you all in the next video see you all